Hello and welcome back to the Joyful Soul Creates. Charlotte here with my submission for day two of MFT Summer School. The theme for day two is rainbows and I decided I would dig through my snippets and scraps folder for some rainbow card. These actually are all off cuts from just a cheap card pack that I got from a supermarket from Lidl. They occasionally have these packs of coloured cards that I found are a decent weight for using for card bases and they're a very good price for it as well. I think it cost me like 2 50 for a pad that gave me enough card for 50 card bases and quite a lot of leftover snippets as well. These the amount of snippets I have at the moment is actually more than one pack's worth because I've done this several times, but that's where I got them from. I hadn't had them kept in order, so I did start this project by taking some time to sort through all the pieces and organise them by colour, and then I arranged them as well into rainbow order just to make my life a bit easier. And I'm going to be keeping them arranged like that in future because that will make it easier to use them. Once I had them all arranged, I wanted to cut them down into strips ready for using. So I knew I was going to make a kind of striped background with these pieces. And in order to do that, I cut down each colour into an eighth of an inch strip. This would probably be much easier if you have a guillotine cutter. I do not. I have this wire guide cutter, which I do like and works very well for most of what I need. But I did find with cutting these very narrow pieces, it tended to shift a little bit at times. So they weren't all very evenly sized but I don't think it mattered too much in the end. I had intended to share this video on Friday. I shared my submission for day one on Thursday and I was planning to do a video each day, but plans changed, so I saved it for today instead. Once I had all these snippets cut down, I also got a piece of white card. This is also a snippet and I've covered it in double-sided tape and I'm going to peel off the backing paper and I will use the angled line on my craft mat to get my first colour into place. I decided I would start with the red and then once I have that first piece into place I don't actually need to use the line on my mat anymore because I would just bat one colour up to the next one and keep working through them until I have them all in place. So as I was saying just now, I was planning on doing one video every day and I had every intention of working ahead, but sometimes life doesn't work out like that. So I'm actually recording this voiceover on Sunday and I'm hoping I will have it up this evening as I had promised in my update on my community page for my channel. I had promised that as I wasn't doing it on Friday, it would be up on Sunday instead. I also do not have any of the submissions made for the remaining days of summer school yet. I have an idea as to what I'm going to be doing for them, I just haven't made them yet. Briefly back to the card, I did, once I'd got all the colours into place, I trimmed off the overhanging pieces and then continued to use those strips to work down the panel building it up. So yeah, I haven't got the projects for the other days made yet. I have an idea for what I'm going to do for day three. I think day three was the symmetry one. I have an idea for that one. And if I'm going with my plan of doing it daily, then I should have that one uploaded tomorrow. But I already have one other card going live on my blog tomorrow for a design team project, the Cupcake Inspirations Challenge. Then I have the Amazing Monday project for tomorrow, which will be going on YouTube and my blog. And that's made, but still needs editing. I have another video I need to get made for a hop and I need to have that scheduled so that I can share the link tomorrow. So I'm thinking that either I will do the MFT day three and not do a video for it because I won't have enough time to get that done tomorrow because I have to work as well or possibly wait and do a video for it to go live on Tuesday and then I might do two going live on Tuesday, I'm not sure. If you have an opinion on that do let me know below whether you'd rather I make a video for it or if you're happy for me to just do a blog post. 
Returning to the card again, I'm using the Hooray die from MFT for my sentiment. I cut it from black cardstock and I also cut just the ray part from black cardstock three times so I can stack that together underneath the full word because that will give it some lift. I will then use the same black card. All these black pieces are also snippets because I was using lots of snippets on this project. So I use that same black card to mat my rainbow panel and then I'm going to just adhere that onto my white card base. I used Tombow Mono Multi liquid glue for adhering the panels but I did use my Nuvo Smooth Precision glue pen for the sentiment just because that's a bit easier on those small spaces. I did make sure to snip that rainbow panel down to be just a little bit longer than my card base because that would give me a bit of grace with getting it lined up. I wouldn't have to be quite so exact. And once I had that in adhered into place, I used the Nuvo glue pen again to add the sentiment. If I was to remake this, I probably would have made a couple of more versions of the sentiment so that I could stack it up so it's not flat on the rainbow panel as well, just to give it even more dimension, but it works well enough as it is. And here you can see how that looks when it's completed and I still have some of that rainbow panel that I created left and of course mountains of the snippets of paper, so I'll have to find something to do with them in future. Let me know in the comments what your favourite way to use snippets is and if you like this video please do click the thumbs up button to let me know. You can subscribe by clicking the button on screen if you're not yet subscribed and there are also a couple of other videos showing if you'd like to see more from me straight away. Otherwise I'll thank you very much for watching and I will see you again in the next video. Bye!